now we go real to the tricks. Tricks and tips, quick tips uh, that we'll pass, write them down. There are many, I know, because uh, <laughs> sometimes I, I made this talk before and, uh, and then they say, oh, well, it was a lot of information. Yes, I know. It will be maybe a few, so write them down and later you can come to the video and you tell me at the end which one resonated with you. And we will also have a space for Q&A. So let's see if their time is going good. Let, we will have also Q&A. So the first one, we know, and the Buddha mentioned, that actually, in order to know where our mind is, you remember the spectrum, if I don't know where the mind is, if it is on the bottom end, or if it is on the middle, or if it is on, on the top, how can I do something? If I don't know where the mind is, there is no hope. Sometimes, you tell me yes or no, I don't know, sometimes, or mo mostly, more in the past, I was getting angry, and I didn't realize that I was getting angry. Somebody come and tell me, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> eh? Somebody do like this, are you, are you fine? Yes. Eh? Something like this, and already anger already there, but the mind still saying, yes, I am okay, don't you see? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? So it is already, anger win already. Why does this happen? Because lack of awareness, lack of mindfulness. Sati is weak. So, if we don't know what our mind is doing, my dear family, we are lost. And that's why the world is as it is. And that's why we have said the most horrible things we have ever said in our life were because we were unmindful or angry. And even not knowing that we were anger, angry. And sometimes it has, has the same happens with sadness. We are sad and we don't recognize. Or we are nervous and we don't recognize. And like fire, if we don't check the fire when it is small, when it is easy to turn that off, if we neglect the small fire, it, the whole house can burn. So then we have psychological problems, not for us, but we can see it in society. A lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. So we need to be mindful from the moment we wake up, ideally, until we go to sleep. As long as the mind is on, we need to be mindful because the mind is changing very quickly. Sometimes we feel happy and immediately we feel sad, isn't it? How many emotions did you experience today? Tell me. How many thoughts did you experience today? Wow, millions of thoughts. Very fast is the mind. So we need to be careful about it. How to do it in a relaxed way, a way that is consistent? Well, let's start using, not just on the retreat. Do you know how to brush your teeth? Yes. Do you need to be thinking? Okay, right, up and down, up and down, don't go forward like this. Do you need to think about that? Not at all, we do it automatically. So, if the mind doesn't require to be thinking about it, go to, to, to mindfulness and just be mindful of the smell of the paste, of the toothpaste, the sensation, the force we are using, and the way we are standing, so the mind is not lost. Sometimes I see myself, or oh, later I have to go this and I have to send this email and then, oh, I have to, oh, she told me that, but next time I told her that I would change her, this and this and that, and then you finish and, oh, did I finish? Did I brush the teeth already? I don't know, isn't it? Because we were totally lost. Somebody has felt that thing before? Yeah, don't, don't, don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. Okay, we all have experienced that, so I know how to brush the teeth, better come back. Bring your mind back. No, 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 no. Don't go to the future. No, 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 no. Don't go to the past. Stay here. Just movement, smell, and clarity of mind. Wow. Which one sounds more elegant? Number one or number two? Number two, la, of course. Elegant. I know the body. I know the mind. I am present. I am happy. Wonderful brushing. <laughs> Sometimes we even hurt our gums because we do too strong. I went to the dentist. I say, uh, Doctor, I have this thing very high. Of course, I have your brushing like this, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So sometimes we can even hurt ourselves. Okay, so we do as we are, sh as we are uh, cleaning our teeth. Now, the same happens for showering. Okay, I will give you the next tip. Do you want to purify your mind? Yes. Do you want to purify your mind? Yes. Yes. Do you want to get in my tent? Yes. Yes, me too. Okay. I will give you the next instruction. If you want to purify your mind and get enlightened, you just follow this instruction and you will. 
From now on, don't take shower anymore. <laughs> does, that, does that sound reasonable? <laughs> sound reasonable? Yes, yes, believe me. From now on, don't take shower. Don't take shower anymore and you will purify your mind and you will get enlightened. Did you believe me? No. no, okay. Don't take shower anymore, I will say, but okay. From now on, what I mean is you will not take a shower. From now on, you will meditate while showering. Wow. That is, sounds good. No, okay. Let's make an experiment. Quick experiment. Eh? I'm going somewhere and you ask me. Okay, where are you going? Okay. No, no, not you. Not, why, oh, you're going one more time. Eh? I go, you ask me. Okay. I'm going to take a shower. Number one. You ask me. Second, not second, second. I'm going to meditate in the shower. Which one sounds more elegant? <laughs> Number two, isn't it? So, yes, when I say, from now on, don't take shower, meditate while you're showering. You don't need to think about so. You don't need to think about opening. Just stay present. Keep the mind in the body. Keep the mind peaceful. Wow, very elegant. And I will tell the same. If you want to get enlightened, from now on, don't eat anymore. <laughs> don't take food anymore. From now on, you won't eat. You will meditate while eating. Sad, sad, sad. Sounds reasonable? Sounds possible? So look, the only thing is just put a tag on it. I'm not taking a shower. Make the resolution. The mind is very powerful, man. Eh? Whatever resolution we make, the mind follows it. So before you get into the shower, you start thinking, I will not let the mind loose. I will be present, I am not present, and all the shower I will stay. Believe me, my dear family. Wisdom will follow. Wisdom will follow. Okay, so you are, this is the next tip I wanted to do. Put the label, I will be meditating for everything. Okay, simple. Before you go out, mm, I will meditate while walking, and you will see more tricks. Now, who here has car or drives? Raise your hand, raise your hand. I think oh, many of us, isn't it? I was also driving when I was a lay person. So I will tell you the tips that I was using when I was driving, because sometimes we drive a lot. Né? We need to commute to our work, or even, even if you don't drive, when we take the, 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 the taxi or the bus, etc. So when I was driving, the thing that helped me the most was two objects. I was focusing on the sensation of the hands in the steering wheel. Anyway, you cannot move your hands from the steering wheel. I already have them there. So as I was going, I was feeling the steering wheel. And also another object that you can use is your weight in the cushion of the, of the seat. Can you feel your weight in the cushion now? Is it see, easy to, do we need much attention to do that? No, oh, very easy. Just keep the mind there. The mind is anchored. So you will use the driving wheel and the cushion and let's make an experiment. Okay, now we will start driving in London. I think it's London. We'll start driving and you will be mindful of your body. Get the steering wheel. Everybody get your steering wheel. Feel your weight, your breath also. And here we go. Ding. Oh, we are going there. We can see the cars. Are you mindful of your weight? Oh, some for the very few only. Are you mindful of your breath? Yes. Can you see the road? Of course, possible. Can you, can you feel your hands? Yes. Can you see the road? No need to do much. So you have, uh, the attention is divided. You're still working. You see these people, bye-bye, and uh, to our neighbors or whatever. We can continue going. It's definitely possible, isn't it? So we feel the weight. We are need to stop. Green light. Okay, let's go, etc., etc. Et the point is made. So use your hands and the weight of your body and the breath. So now you will not drive. You will meditate in the car. Wow, more elegant. I tell you, tonight you will go out more elegant than the way you came in. I can assure you that. <laughs> Elegance, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> okay, next one. If you need to wait for whatever reason, the lift, the in the bank, or in the post office, or whatever, sometimes we need to wait. Why to let the mind run wild? Just come back. No, dear. No, no, no. Don't, don't go to the future. Come, come. No, no, no. Don't go to the past. Come back. Then you use the breath, we anchor with the breath, we anchor with the body. Ah, no suffering. 
And when no suffering, joy arises, piti sukha, no, no. And when joy arises, peace follows. And when peace follows, love comes after. Wow. My dear family, we are talking about very beautiful stuff. If we are present, the mind calms down. If the mind is calm, we are free from suffering. Joy arises. From joy comes peace and concentration. And from peace follows all the time love. Have you noticed that there is no boundary between peace? There is no frontier between peace and love? Really, when we are peaceful, suddenly we just feel love for ourselves and for others. Very beautiful. Easy to do even when we are standing in the bank. I heard one teacher saying, one, day, one time he told us, do you want to know who is the best meditator of all the world? Oh, we are like, yes, yes, Bante, please tell me. And then he said, the best meditator in the world is the one that is meditating and nobody noticed. <laughs> Very elegant. I want to be that one. I wish for you to be that one. You will be your mind straight, straight, stable and beautiful. And people don't need to know around. You don't need to be oh. <laughs> no, no, no need. You are just standing on the bank. You are just standing waiting for the lift and your mind is, is booming with beauty from the inside. Isn't that elegant? That is pro. We are talking about pro, professional. <laughs> so really pro. So any moment you, you know, come back. Let go of the past, the Buddha says. Let go of the future. Let go of the present. With a mind that is totally free, cross to the other shore beyond suffering. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. My hero. <laughs> Very nice. Very wise. Okay, next one. Instead of having a door, now you won't have a door. Your door is like, of course, that's just a door, ne? No. Now we will upgrade our doors. Now our doors will be our Kalyanamitas. Huh? Now the door, every time you get the knob of your door, or either this or this one, whichever you have, the door will tell you, be my fault. So when you open the door, you will take that moment to be, come back to yourself. Even if you are going to the toilet or to the kitchen, wherever you're going, stop, or, or even just in the opening, the door will tell you, be mindful. So now we will upgrade the door. So you see, in all these moments, how many doors do you open every day? Ooh. Well, except for the doors that Brother Alan used to sell, these doors you just arrive and they open by themselves. So <laughs> no need to open those. But anyway, if the door is opening, you just arrive. Sadu, sadu, sadu. And then you go, okay. So now the doors will be your Kalyanamita. So now, not just the door. We will upgrade the objects in our, in our, in our daily life, <laughs> okay? So, Kalyanamita door, another tip. And here we go. Maybe you might think, wow, Bhante Rahula, very progressive, very modern, isn't it? You may say, wow, this, this monk is very modern. No, I'm not modern at all. The Buddha spoke about all these things. Do you know? I'm sure you know this sutta. In the Satipatthana Sutta, the Buddha said, the practitioner is alert. And awake when he's walking, when he's standing, when he's sitting and lying down, isn't it? He said when he's quiet, when he's talking, when he's looking ahead and when, when he's stretching the limbs or bringing the limbs. So I'm not being modern monk. Yes, maybe I put the images. That's the only credit that you can put. But the Buddha spoke about this. Even the Buddha went as far as to say while urinating, you remember, and defecating, the monk or the practitioner is mindful because we cannot underestimate any place or any moment because at any time wisdom can come up. So we are ready. We have the door of wisdom open 24 seven. Any moment we are clearly minded and the Buddha gave these instructions even when we are in the toilet and some of the insights we get come precisely there. What is the reaction of the mind towards the smell or something? Yeah, yeah, the mind is doing. We learned a lot, actually. So 
don't underestimate any time or place. And as I said, to close, to wrap up the thing, yes, just put the tag. I will not shower, I will not eat, I will meditate while showering, I will meditate while eating, while doing anything, while walking, and I will add the next tip. Very useful. <laughs> you will do everything, everything that you will do, but you will just add a little word. You will just add with gentleness. If you eat gently, your mind will stay present. Imagine the first time you hold a newborn baby. How did you hold the, the newborn baby? How was it? When my sister borrowed to me her daughter, my niece, now she's big, but when she borrowed me the daughter, one, she born the last, last day, previous day, and she, oh, 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 I'm like this and I hold it oh, with such a care, such a, no, how do you say in Chinese? Shusam la, shusam, no? Shusam, xiaoxin, small heart. Imagine, small heart. You are really mindful. Shusam, shusam, shusam. Oh, oh, oh. So you are like this. Can you be careless at that moment? Of course not. So mindfulness is present. Can you be kind? Of course, kind, gentleness. Can you be wholesome? Of course, but you are very, wow. So imagine, in the same way, gentleness lives on the same neighborhood of kindness, in the same neighborhood of goodness, in the same neighborhood of ah, all the good qualities are in the same neighborhood. You saw the spectrum of mind, we are on this side. So if you just do things kindly, brush your teeth kindly, shower kindly, it is that kindness and gentleness will already bring all the good qualities of the mind present. Does it make sense? Can you, be, can you be aggressive while you are gentle? It's impossible. It's their opposite. So, my dear family, do all these things, and not than one, and actually is very pleasant and very beautiful. Just do things gently. Dress yourself gently. Talk gently. Talk to yourself gently. Wow. Very elegant. Mm. Very nice. Now we are talking. Now we are talking about daily life elegance. Do we need a monastery to do this? Not at all. Do we need, I don't know, an altar? No. It's just daily life. We are making our life our retreat. Okay. If you haven't read this book, get it online for free distribution from Sayota Jania. In this line for practicing in daily living, it has a lot of tips and it has very small instructions that you can read one a day. And please get it, just look Sayal Tajania book and it will come up or you can get even copies here. I, I've seen in, I think in, I think I saw somewhere they have copies of it. Get one and I will encourage you to have it. Okay, very simple and even very funny. As you can see, it has, has drawings and very practical. So uh, keep that in mind. Next one, okay. But before we go to that one, one little break. <sighs> Let's come back to, come back to the body. <sighs> Everybody doing good? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Interesting? Yes. Continue? Yes. Good. So let's come back to the body just for a few minutes. Close your eyes just for a few seconds. And rejoice in being alive. That's it. We are alive and healthy. We came walking by ourselves. We have family, friends, food, clothing. More than enough. Just come back. Hmm. and be gentle with this present moment. That's it. Hmm. We wish the same for our family, our mother and father, wherever they may be, even if they left already, for our brothers and sisters, children. May you be like I am now. Just present, just gentle. That's it. To your friends, teachers, people we know and people we don't know. We wish the best and then we come back. Simple, yeah. beautiful mind, holing, <laughs> chewing. <laughs> Very nice. Very beautiful, so simple, coming back and changing the mind to a different state. Okay, shall we continue a little bit more?
Okay, so now here comes a difficult one, eh? and one that we need to start incorporating, talking. How much do you talk a day? Wow, we talk a lot, isn't it? <laughs> or even in your job, if you, are a, if you are a phone, yes, how can I help you? Yes, so imagine the whole day talking. If we are unskillful on keeping our mind stable while we are talking, you can make the math. How, how many hours a day do I speak? How many hours we are unmindful? We won't make it, ne? If we don't bring mindfulness while we are talking, we will waste a lot of time. And I can assure you that most of the things that we feel regret now were words that we said, isn't it? Why? Because we were unmindful. We didn't recognize that the defilements were coming and suddenly, bleh, we said something, bleh. Eh, very cheap, very cheap. So how to bring mindfulness while we talk? The Buddha said we need to be mindful while speaking and while being silent. So in the same way that we may practice meditation, we need an, a base, an object, a base object, an anchor. So what will be that anchor? Same as in the car. If you're talking with somebody and you're standing, eh, I'm feeling the weight of the body in the feet. I am feeling the breath. I'm feeling the sensation of the cloth. Can you feel the cloth touching your body? Yes. Can you feel the coolness of, of, of the aircon? Yes. Can you feel the weight of your body in the cushion? Or if you are standing, that's it. I anchor myself. First, with any object, same as, as, as we will practice any meditation, 